Hey, Bastish B here for 64K and welcome to the first episode of Retro Remakes. So, what is the show going to be about? We're going to be looking at retro remakes of classic games, whether they be classic computer, console or arcade games, official or unofficial, everything is up for grabs. And the first game for the series is going to be a game called Fractalus, which is a PC remake of the original Lucasfilm game from the mid-80s. But before we check that one out, let's jump back to the mid-1980s and check out the original Lucasfilm release on the Commodore 64. Rescue on Fractalus was released on the Commodore 64 by Lucasfilm Games. It was the newly set up software company's first game and upon release became an instant classic. The game was a spaceship flight simulator with heavy arcade style elements where you were tasked with flying down to the planet Fractalus from your orbiting mothership and rescue down pilots and fly them back safely to your orbiting base. But things are never as simple as that as you have to evade and destroy enemy gun emplacements set up in the mountain regions as well as sporadic alien craft attacks. You also had to contend with the possibility that the person you were rescuing was an alien in disguise which could get on board your ship and destroy it. It was truly a unique game for its time. The game was headed up by David Fox who had just joined the company's computer gaming division. He ended up sharing an office with Lauren Carpenter who at the time was doing computer effects for ILM, Industrial Light and Magic, Lucasfilm film's movie FX division, which he also did the impressive Genesis effect in the 1982 Star Trek movie The Wrath of Khan. David was immediately impressed with the fractal graphic system that Lauren had created for the effect. He asked if it could be used on the Atari 800 for a game application. Lauren laughed at the idea and said it was impossible, but little did David know that the seed was planted and Lauren took an Atari 800 home to work on this theory in secret. Only a few days later he presented a working version of the system on the Atari to David. He was absolutely blown away. This led Lauren to be lent to the games division until Fractalus was complete. David's original idea for the game was called Rebel Rescue. The game would essentially be the same except it would be set in the Star Wars universe. George Lucas opposed this idea and insisted the games division be based on original ideas and not simply licensed games pity they didn't stick to that one. <laughs> in a very short period of time, a demo was ready to be played. George was the first person to play the beta version. He pressed the fire button and there was no weapons. He was completely confused. David explained the game was about rescuing and not killing. George then came up with all the vital components that made the game a classic. Weapons were implemented, with him suggesting the gun emplacements and random saucer attacks, and the most important element of the possibility of not all rescuees being human. The entire game fell into place after that with George's ideas all being implemented for its 1984 release. The game's name changed multiple times before going to print, from Rescue Mission to Behind the Jaggy Lines to its final incarnation, Rescue on Fractalus, a not so subtle reference to the game's engine, which also ended up being used on 1984's Ball Blazer, as well as later titles like The Eidolon and Coronas Rift. It was released to huge success with Zap64 magazine in the September 1985 issue, giving the Commodore 64 version a 91% overall. David went on to work on many more classic Lucasfilm games such as Zack McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders and Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. And as for Lauren Carpenter, he went back to the FX division and ended up becoming a co-founder in Pixar Animation. Rescue on Fractalus is a simple game in retrospect, but it's still just as much fun to play today as it was over 35 years ago. And now that you know a little bit about the game history, let's take a look at the unofficial PC remake.
Fractalus is an unofficial remake of Lucasfilm's Rescue on Fractalus that has been an ongoing work in progress for over 10 years now by LSD, Luke's Software and Design. This game is free and is available on Windows, Mac, Linux and there's even a VR mode supporting most of the major VR peripherals. The person responsible for this brilliant version is Luke Arnold, a software developer from Perth, Western Australia. He got his programming start on his dad's Commodore SX-64 where he was introduced to BASIC and things really progressed from there. This version here is 1.0 and was released in late December 2020. It brings the game right up to speed on all the features of the original and although Luke says this may not be the last update, as he may have to do a few bug fixes, it's as close as it's ever been to the original. As you can see the graphics are amazing, capturing the look and feel of the original while still feeling new and unique. The instruments in the cockpit are all very retro, making the connection between this and the original version all the more apparent. Just like the Lucasfilm version, this gives you the option to start on whatever level you want, depending on your skill level and whatever you're going to be dealing with. There's a nice rendition of the original game's main tune in the intro that sets the nostalgic mood really well. I play this on my PC with an Xbox 360 controller and it plays excellently with very smooth gameplay which makes it feel like a brilliant console styled flight sim with just like the original minimal keyboard controls for landing, airlock etc etc. Head on over to Luke's website for the game to see the entire update history of how this game has come together. He even thanks David Fox and Lauren Carpenter for helping get this remake as close to the original as possible. This truly is a passion project that's been updated many times since its original 2010 release date and it's an amazing remake that looks and sounds brilliantly and should be tried by anyone who loves the original. And I'll leave a link in the description to the download page which is free so there's really no reason not to give this a shot. And thanks for joining me for this first episode of this new series. I'm Best HB. If you can like and subscribe that will be greatly appreciated. I'll see you next time. Cheers.